Last night, we brought you the story of a Chrysler worker out of work for two years and her reaction to minimum wage jobs being created downtown. Tonight, Fox 2's Charles Jaco looks at how those jobs are replacing the well-paid manufacturing jobs we used to have. Charles. Well, Sandy, with unemployment here around 9%, look, any new jobs are welcome, but it's probably bad economic news for our region when we lose thousands of manufacturing jobs and replace them with jobs whose pay hovers around the minimum wage. The Scott Trade Center and renovated Peabody Opera House held a job fair Tuesday for around 500 new part-time jobs. We were scheduled to open at 4. We had about 50, 60 people waiting outside, so we opened an hour early, and you can see people are still coming in. The economy certainly does have a fa it plays a factor in the type of uh, individuals that we have. But hanging over that, the ghost of the 70 to 80,000 jobs the region has lost since the Great Recession started. And many of those formerly highly paid skilled workers are still out of work. And as to those new jobs being created... You can't live off of that. You really can't. You can't live off of 10 bucks an hour. You know, especially... I don't even know if, if you had a small apartment and you were by yourself, that 10 bucks an hour will get you by. I really don't think so. John carriger has been out of work since the Fenton Chrysler plant evaporated in 2009. I knew it was going to be tough. You know, and then the economy just kept getting worse and worse and worse, and more and more people were losing their jobs. I figured I'd be out maybe 30 days. It'd just be a good short break. You know, I'd pick something up right away and get right back in the swing of things, and then the bottom fell out of the economy, and it's just like, what's going to happen next? Mike Moore lost his Chrysler job in 2008. After 250, he stopped counting the number of job applications he's filled out. But he keeps up with business news about corporate profits and CEO bonuses. The bankers on Wall Street, just the greed, the greed I see at the higher levels, and it's just, this is too much. You know, there's got to be a stopping point someplace. So far, though, there's no end in sight. And we're taking a longer look at the crisis of long-term unemployment in St. Louis on the Jayco Report this coming Sunday morning at 8.30. Charles Jaco, Fox 2 News. The Wisconsin